Well, welcome back everyone to a brand new video here on the channel of the Giant Squad, episode 2 of the day. Make sure guys to leave a like on this video. We're in the playoffs, baby. And, you know, subscribe to the channel for more Madden Mobile content. Come here guys' way and Madden 17 coming around the corner. Definitely going to pump out some Madden 17 content once it hits the stores August 23rd. Can't wait. So, we got the Dallas Cowboys going up against the Giants in the playoffs. Divisional round. Let's see if we can pull a victory and keep the playoffs you know, keep our playoff dreams alive, and here we go. We're going up against the Dallas Cowboys. Ah, we'll, we'll kick off first. Just in case we are losing, we could get the ball in the second half. And, you know, come up, come out on top, baby. So here we go. We're going up against the Dallas Cowboys, a divisional rival right here. Let, let's see what we can do. Josh Brown with the kick return. And today's question of the episode is, was Olivier Vernon worth signing? to the Giants for all that money was it worth it and you know I think he got like around 80 something million dollars for five or six years you know was he worth signing was Olivier Vernon worth signing and that's what we will be talking about here today and Eli Apple making the first play baby we didn't even need like that was perfect they got the ball and, and Matt Castle just throws it Terrible ball, and that's a great play by us right there. And oh, Eli gets smoked. But was Olivier Vernon worth signing for the Giants? Worth was he worth all that money as well? And yes, I do believe he was worth the signing because we definitely need some talent on defense at the defensive end. Since JPP, we don't know if he's gonna be a full go. If he's gonna be, you know. As productive as we want him to be we at least need someone else to help at the defensive end position uh, that's what we did by signing Olivier Vernon he's young he's still got ways to go to be in his prime of his career make some plays I definitely believe he was worth the signing even though it was a little bit of, like we signed him for a lot of money I don't think he's worth that much but if he can be that productive and be that well have a great year this year for the Giants I do believe Olivier Vernon was worth the signing because you know all we need is pressure and if he can create that pressure and you know make some plays get some sacks get some tackles help out the Giants defense this year that's all we need from him and you know we didn't have that last year that's why we lost those games in the final minutes of them and you know Olivier Vernon coming to the team I believe Olivier Vernon will Help us out there for sure, because Olivier Vernon was definitely worth the pick, because he's going to create some pressure. He's going to sack the quarterback, and he, he was making a lot of great plays for Miami last year. I was watching him. You know, he sacked Eli a couple times last year, Monday Night Football against the Giants, and I'm like, man, that's that. he's pretty good. Never heard of him before. Uh, no joke. I saw him before. And I say he's pretty good, and I never heard of him before. And, yeah, he's a young talent and something to look forward to for the Giants to have on the team. And Dwayne Harris, can he stop the punt? Unfortunately not. But let's see if OBJ can recover after I screwed him up from position. Nope, I muffed it. Damn it. It's all right, though. Well, we picked it up, and we got some decent yards out of that. It is 8-0. to zero. But Olivier Vernon, I believe he will create some pressure and definitely help out you know, JPP from, you know, he would definitely help out JPP by, you know, what's it called? Uh, because he's on, he's helping create pressure and, you know, forcing pressure. And then JPP will, he'll be able to bring down the sack that the Giants need, what they need for, you know, they need some uh, production from JPP. And Olivier Vernon will help him do that for sure. Because, you know, they, they all, even even DeMond Harrison and all the players on the defense line, I do believe, you know, they will help out JPP. All the free agent signings, I definitely thought they were great. But, you know, they, it was for a lot of money, though, which I don't believe they need to do. But, you know, they needed to get these players. They needed to do it fast because our team was terrible last year. Just terrible. Complete trash on defense. Our offense was great, but defense complete terrible but making these signings and going the way we did i do believe olivier vernon was worth the signing nice job by jerry's to get him in there 
And, you know, the Jaguars were looking at him, but we were able to pick him up. I definitely believe he was worth the signing because, you know, he's still young. He's, he's got some talent, and I definitely believe he will make some plays against these Dallas Cowboys. Like, I, I saw some plays when Tony Romo, I think, I believe it was his first game coming back. Olivier Vernon, like, sacked him so many, so many times. He was the one to help, you know, tear Marcus Mariota's, you know, ACL, MCL, whatever it was. He was the one that did that, man. He was the one that made him, you know, mess up his his uh, running ability and just screw up his leg. He, just, he he was the guy to do that. And if he could do that to other teams, imagine like Sam Bradford, teams like Eagles, Cowboys. You know, he could hurt Tony Romo. He could hurt, you know, maybe Kirk Cousins. You know, just hurt anybody, man. Like, that would be great. That's a guy to look forward to. But I know it's not nice to hurt people, but... Hey, if that helps us win games, then that's all we need. And, you know, football, if you play football, you know there's a risk of getting hurt. And that's what these NFL players are willing to take. So, you know, if that's the case, then hopefully Olivier Vernon can make some plays and hurt some people. And, man, we'll be in shape to win some games and hopefully make the playoffs and maybe the Super Bowl. You know, that'd be great and all, all in all. But, you know, that'd be great. So, if you got guys agree with me. With Olivier Vernon signing, was was he worth it? Was he worth signing with all that big money? Well, tell me down in the comment section down below. Like to hear you guys' thoughts and opinions. Nice play by Jasper Brinkley, just coming up, jumping, catching that ball, and we got the lead so far, sixteen to zero. So yeah, guys, Madden Seventeen is rolling around the corner, and I am very pumped and excited for it for sure. And come on, Eli, you should be able to throw that ball. Yeah, I know there was some pressure in your face, but, you know, if, if Olivier Vernon can make that pressure, like, make quarterbacks overthrow, like, you know, Eli just did right there. Like, but I know Madden 17 is rolling around the corner. I was, I've been talking about it a lot throughout the series. And is it something, what, what kind of uh, game modes throughout Madden 17 would you guys like to see on the channel? I know they got a new revamped franchise mode on in the game you know they got some new things new additions to make that game mode more fun to look and watch so if you guys are interested in that you know tell me down in the comment section down below if you guys would like me to play some franchise mode and i definitely do have some ideas for madden 17 for the channel what to do and you know if you guys are interested in that make sure you guys to you know tell me what you guys would like to see from madden 17 down in the comment section down below because that's what I want, want to hear from you guys for sure because you know I got to make videos that you guys like and you guys would watch and would subscribe for the, for the channel what like what videos would you subscribe and watch and to keep watching my videos and nice play by Shane Green able to pull it in and get that touchdown I thought that might have been a pick or something but you know Shane Green making plays that's what I like to see out of my Giants right there and we got 20 seconds left remaining in the second quarter. My man, Eli, going, running in the end zone and getting a two-point conversion. We are winning this one 24-0. That's what I like to see out of my Giants, man. Hopefully, we can win the Super Bowl in this series. That would be awesome, phenomenal. And Wilcox right there, return, picking that ball up. And there's 19 seconds left. And we get, do get the ball in the second half. So, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be able to make some more production here with the Giants offense. But Olivier Vernon, you know, creating some pressure would be great. And what is this play? Joseph Randall, he got number 21. You're not Ezekiel Elliott. Man, boy. I got to watch out for Ezekiel Elliott, man. You know. you know, he did hurt his little hamstrings. A little sore, baby. But, you know, it's all right. It's all right. Because we'll... That, that's a good sign for us, though, for sure. Come on. Make an interception. Oh, come on. Can't let Terrence Williams just knock the ref down right there. That's that's unfortunate right there. But eight seconds left remaining in the game. Matt Castle looking, and he's throwing it to Gavin Escobar. Gets the first down. Matt Castle. But, you know, Matt Castle's not on the team anymore. I believe he went somewhere else. I believe... Titans, I believe, I don't know, not quite sure, but this is the third time we've been playing the Cowboys already in this series, like, man, okay, I see, Matt Castle thrown deep, and yeah, baby, DRC able to break it up, and now we get the ball, that's, that's what I want to see out of our team, baby, alright, third down, and, 
or third down. Third quarter now beginning, and yeah, let's go. Giants started their second week of training camp, and they're playing this Friday, baby. Preseason begins. I can't wait. Dwayne Harris with the kicker turn. We're going up against the Miami Dolphins. You know, Olivier Vernon's the team. And, yeah. Hopefully he can uh, make some plays. I'm looking forward to that. Looking forward to see Victor Cruz. Hopefully he can uh, be playing in the preseason. That's what I want to see. A nice play by Victor Cruz right there. But, you know, what I want to see preseason to watch for is definitely, like, Victor Cruz. Uh, definitely Sterling Shepard and some other players would be great to watch. And Eli, you couldn't get that ball off? Uh, but, you know, like, and seeing also as well JPP's production on defense is something to watch for. And just our rookies in general, like Eli Apple, you know, some of the undrafted free agents we got, you know, as well as Paul Perkins, we got, you know, like, all these players, even our linebackers, something to look forward to because, you know, we did sign some free linebackers. We did draft E.J. Goodson. And, you know, I, linebackers are a question for sure because I don't know about our linebackers. Uh, will they uh, be good this year? I think they'll be better than last year, but they're not as good as what I want to see. I, I really think we should have got, you know, maybe like Miles Jack. I know, I know he might be hurt, but I think we should have drafted him. He was available, but nobody wanted to pick him up, and the Jaguars did so. And, man, the Jaguars, their draft class looks nasty. They got Jalen Ramsey and Miles Jack. Like, yo, nasty picks right there by the Jaguars. Like, their rookie class is looking pretty good. But our rookie class, what we did, you know, getting Eli Apple, he's been making plays in training camp. And, you know, OBJ's been helping him out there as well. And, yeah. I think we did a great job drafting this year, even though we could have picked up like Miles Jack or somebody like that. But, you know, it's all right. I did think we need, did need some linebacker help, but, you know, he's injured. He's got some injury history and, you know, not not something Giants need because we don't need any players injured for our team because that's what we don't want. And Prince of Mukamara, yo, he got hit and was able to bring that play down, that ball down. Damn. I see you, Prince. I see you. Not not Prince the Singer. You know, Prince of Mukamara, now a Jaguar. Like, yo, he's a Jaguar as well. Like, that's another player to look out. Or another team to look out for this year, as well as the Raiders. They, they made some uh, great free agent signings as well. Like, there's a lot of teams, I believe, this year that will make the playoffs that haven't made the playoffs in quite some time. And Jordan Reed, we're going to throw across the field with Fila and Jordan Reed able to make some plays. And we just got him last episode. So here we go. First down and 10. Eli Manning, we're looking to just get rid of the ball and not get hurt. And, we're, and we did successful right there. Second down and 10. And let's see who we can find. Jordan Reed. Hey, he's able to catch that crap, man. Yo, nice play by Jordan Reed right there, you know what I mean? But, you know, we're not going to be able to get the ball off in time because that's the end of the third quarter, and we are smoking the Cowboys. It's a blowout, 32 nothing. and there's a minute and 30 seconds left, and we got to see if we can, you know, continue what we've been doing here. Third down at seven, we're looking for a man. We're looking for Shane Vereen. Out of the backfield, throwing a deep ball. And there we go. Sheen Vereen able to haul in that pass and get us a first down. That's what I want to see out of Giants. Make some big plays. Deep balls down the field by Eli Manning. I definitely believe Eli Manning, you know, is one of the most underrated quarterbacks in the NFL. But he still be able to make plays with Ben McAdoo coming in at head coach. You know, definitely helps out Eli in his career. And, oh, Eli almost got in there. We're going to do it once again. Do another QB sneak. So hopefully Eli Manning gets in there. And man, oh man, yes he does. That's another touchdown by the New York Giants. And we got this game. And we're definitely pulling a victory here today. 38 nothing is the score. About to get a two-point conversion. Make it 40 nothing right there. There we go. A minute and eight seconds left remaining in the game. Josh Brown going to kick this one off. And there we go. 40 nothing is the score. Here we go. We got my man. Dwayne Harris returning. They never fixed that glitch. Dwayne Harris is on the Cowboys still in Madden Mobile, so hopefully they fix that next year uh, and make him on the Giants. 
Can't wait for Madden Mobile, you know, reset as well as Madden 17. Just can't wait for the new Madden season, baby. That's what I want to see. And Madden 17 is coming around the corner August 23rd. Like I said, guys, I talked about how to get Madden 17, uh, you know, cheap and get a nice deal on it. And if you guys want to hear about that, check out my last video, the last episode of, you know, the Giants running backs and all that. You know, talk about that situation and will they be good next year? And we have got to see nice play right there by, I believe, Jasper Brinkley. And nice play. Able to break that one up. Second down and 10. Here we go. We got JPP, Olivier Vernon. The whole new revamped defensive line for the Giants. And he's going to throw this one deep to Jason Witten. And he's, he's the man, man. Like, he, he's, he's getting up there in age, but he's still be able to make plays. And Jason Witten, like, grats to you, man. And nice play. But, you know, we made that big hit with Can Chancellor. Another player we picked up last episode. The ball's still in the air. And it, they're fighting for it. But it finally hit the ground. And that makes it second down and 10. 29 seconds left remaining in the game. Here we go. Matt Castle looking. And he's going to run. He's going to run it. But Eli Apple, nice hit. Nice tackle. Able to bring him down so he's not be able to pick up the first. And Matt Castle, he's looking to run it again. Jason Pierre-Paul unable to get away from that double team. And Matt Castle is able to pick up the first down. There's 19 seconds left. They do have all three timeouts left, but they're not going to win. They just want to score some points, so it's not a blowout. And Des Bryant, another man to look forward to, coming off injury, Dallas Cowboys fans. But hopefully, you know, that doesn't happen. We can, you know, make sure we're good. And Des Bryant, nice catch. There's eight seconds left remaining. We don't want them to score here. And Matt Castle is looking for a man, looking to score their first points of the game and get sacked by no other than Olivier Vernon, the man. Was he worth signing? Tell me, guys, down in the comment section down below. They have one second left, and they're able to call it. And Matt Castle gets a touchdown, so it's not a blowout. And that's the end of the game right there, baby. But we still won 42-7 after they kicked this PAT. And, yo, we're able to pull victory and to stay alive in the playoffs. That's what I like to see out of my Giants, to stay alive in the playoffs right there. And we're playing the Tampa Bay Buccaneers once again and in the playoffs. So, next episode, we are playing Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And hopefully, you know, tomorrow we can go to the Super Bowl as well. But you got to stay tuned, guys. Next round's conference championship. So, if you want to see that, make sure... To stay tuned for tomorrow's episode, episodes if we win this game for the conference championship and the Super Bowl. The last two episodes of the Giants Squad series for this year. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys leave a like on this video and subscribe channel for more Manic content. And yeah, guys, that's all for you guys today. Rock Soldier 72 signing off.